What's up guys? I'm going to make a real quick video today just showing the differences between the Freerider Pro and the regular Freerider since I have both shoes on hand right now. Now, I'm going to start off saying I like this shoe better, but this is still a great shoe. So I think the price of this one was about 120 Canadian, where this is about 150 Canadian. So the main differences between them is the stiffness of the bottom. So as you can see on the Freerider Pro, it's quite hard to flex the bottom of it. It's a really stiff shoe. So I'm a free, I'm a flat pedal XC rider. So this is my shoe of choice. Now I tried this one, and if you can see here, it, it flexes real easy. Uh, not a fan of that, but some people like that. So, personally, I actually think this shoe looks maybe a little better than this one, but since it doesn't suit my needs, I don't use this one. Um, some other differences are this one is very like malleable, moves very easy, so your foot kind of can shape, get in there a little easier. You know, it might conform to your foot a little better. Uh, Whereas the, this one, the Freerider Pro, is actually quite like stiff, and it's a little bit narrower. So if you got wide feet, this one is probably the better choice. But even saying that, I do have wide feet, and they fit perfectly fine in this. So I, I run 11 and a half, which is what size this is, and I was only able to find this in size 11, so uh, it doesn't quite fit me right, so I'm just going to end up selling these ones. As for the, the bottom, I believe they're the same. I think this one's a little bit tackier. It says stealth here, it's tackier, I believe. Let me go ahead and feel this one. Ah, they feel about the same. It's hard for me to tell if there's any difference there. The thickness of them feels about the same. Okay, and actually one of the best features of the Freerider Pro is the toe guard. So right here, it's got some something hard in there that if you get your foot caught in between the pedal and a root, it'll stop your toes from getting crushed. It's very hard there. I love, that's my favorite feature of this. It rarely happens, but when it does, you're very thankful that you got that. As for this Freerider regular, it does. it has a little bit of something there, but it's not nearly as good as a Freerider Pro. So I have a pair of Freerider Pros that I've been using for three seasons and they're pretty tore up now, but I still use them and they're great. So it's gonna feel good to get this fresh pair on. Um, so I can't think of any other differences between these shoes. I believe that the Free Rider Pro is a little lighter. So let's just go ahead and weigh these up actually. So the regular Free Rider, this is size 11, regular Free Rider, 445 grams. Size 11 and a half Free Rider Pro. 396 grams. So it's a 50 gram saving per shoe, and it's a larger size. So yeah, I love them. How can I say they're kind of expensive, but you change them out every two to three years, and uh, you get your money's worth. One thing to note is you will tear the bottom up if you're using M3 pins. So typically with my pedals, I don't like to use pedals with M3 pins. They're too thin and they end up ripping your sole a little too easy, or not, they end up ripping the bottom of your shoe a little bit too easy. So if you want to get more longevity, you want to have M4 pins that are a little bit bigger so they don't dig in as much. You still get good grip, but they don't rip the bottom of your shoe apart. So I only run M4 pins, and uh, I get about two to three seasons off a pair. Yeah, so there you have it. I hope that helps somebody out there trying to make a decision between these two shoes like I was. Hopefully that helped explain a little bit, and yeah.
if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys. Have a good one.